Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the September Image Competition 2021 um, for IEPPV. We have three illustrious judges with us again, um, two of them are own, and then one of them is also our own, but much more recent. So I'm going to start with the third one, Stephen Scharf. Stephen joined us, I think, what, last year, Stephen? I think you're fairly new to IEPPV. Uh, 2019. Uh, 2019. Yeah, I beg your pardon. Now. Yeah. Yeah, all right. yep. So, so he's he's almost a, um, a, a an old hand, but Stephen has a, a long uh, background shooting, among other things, things that move very fast, mostly motor racing, and does some spectacular work. We're excited to have him back to judge. Second, we have Mr. Peel, who has had a camera in his hand for longer than some of us have been alive, and uh, um, still does an impressive job. And uh, knows more about and has forgotten more about photography than probably anyone else on this call. So we're honored to have Frank joining us and he hasn't judged for a while. So it's nice to have him back. And then tried and trusty uh, Mr. Mr. Newman, um, who is always somewhere and that somewhere is seldom in California, but at the moment, I think Idaho, correct, Casey? Correct. And uh, Casey's been um, you know shooting for almost as long as Frank. Well, maybe not quite, but uh, certainly a very long time has enormous amount of experience across a wide range of genres. Um, all three of them have judged before, so they know the rules and the games. Just as a reminder to um, our audience, in case you don't know, we run essentially two competitions these days. We decided to separate a, a master's division from the regular division to give an opportunity to new develop, you know, new um, emerging photographers to make it more exciting for them to join the uh, regular division and know that they're competing against people of similar skill level. And then for the masters, we judge them at a slightly higher standard, almost at the same standard as the state competition. To be in the master's division, uh, you either have to have a master's degree or equivalent, or you can choose to elect to be in that division if you feel that that's the level that you're shooting at um, and want to be judged at. Once you've decided to be in it, it's a bit like Hotel California, you can um, check out, but you can never leave. So once you're in, then you're in the master's division, at least for the rest of the year. You, you can actually leave at the end of the year, but. Uh, with that, I will set the ball rolling and we have, I think, 56 images. We'll take a break about halfway through and then at the end, we'll go through tiebreakers and identify the winners. So with that, then let's get going. If everybody's ready, judges, are you ready? Ready. Yep. Ready. Okay, we have three judges. <laughs> okay, starting in the master division, we start with the master commercial category. And these are for photographs that are taken either directly for a commercial client or under commercial uh, condition. So essentially would be advertising or some other similar type promotion image. First image in the commercial category is MMA workout Miami style. MMA workout Miami style. Judges, please score. Uh, sorry, where do we enter our scores again? In the, in the chat. chat. In the okay, chat, if you would. Yeah, That's right. Thank you. No problem. Got too many panels up here. Yeah. Okay, image scores. Oh, I, don't I, don't see score Stevens. I don't see Steven's score. Oh, Stephen, uh, I think you sent it directly to me. If you would send, I'm sorry, to and to everyone. Yeah, yeah sorry. It's it's odd that it defaulted to. Uh, it's yeah, because I'd sent you a message. Uh, oh. Okay. Got yeah, it. it's not very user friendly. <laughs> yeah. Image scores seventy eight points. Casey, this one is yours. Uh, I scored it a seventy eight. Um, I, I like what's happening within the upper area of the MMA fighter's body. I think that tight, tightly wound bit of action is, is nice and compelling. Um, I think that the background feels to me a little bright and busy. Uh, I think if it were a little bit more out of focus or re reduced down uh, in that way to minimize some of the distracting elements, I, I would like the image better. Also the, the crop just above the knee to me feels a little little loose i wonder if you i wonder if it were a slightly tighter crop i would be able to be in the the sphere of action so to speak because all the stuff going on in his body is is kind of kind of nice the, the light in his face is nice uh i think that the maker did a, a really nice job in that area it's the other more distracting areas that pull away from the image and wouldn't let me go merit on it okay thank you casey 
The next image, and in fact, the only other image in the uh, master commercial category is Spitfire Pilot. Spitfire Pilot. Judges, please score. Yeah. Image scores 81 points. Um, Frank, this one's yours. All right, I scored this image 80. Uh, I'm particularly uh, keen on the background. It certainly suits the subject well. Lighting on the watch face is good, although I'm seeing what looks like a bit of reflection between 7.30 and 10 and between 1.30 and, and 5. Uh, it's, it's a bit distracting, not entirely, but detail in the watch, very good. The classic position of the hands, well worthy of a merit. Thank you, Frank. Uh, do someone have a comment? I just said a soft agreed. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so we, I think we have one image for review, uh, which is uh, MMA workout Miami style. Uh, Judge, if you could put a Y if you want this to go up to a merit or an N if you'd like it to stay as a 78 points. Image stays the same. Okay, the next vision is the master illustrative category. The illustrative category is for those images that sort of don't fit anywhere else. So it's a very um, wide open category for images that are, um, you know, as I say, don't, don't conform to one of the other categories. However, the emphasis is on the photography as opposed to the uh, digital artist where it's the emphasis is on the Photoshop and, and the digital work afterwards. First image in the master illustrative is called a modern explorer. A modern explorer. Judges, please score. Image scores 82. Uh, Stephen, this one's yours. Yeah, this is a really interesting idea. Uh, I like um, what the maker is doing here. Um, uh, I think that it's it actually, you know, tells at least to me a story of probably um, an astronaut doing an extravehicular activity of some sort. Uh, and I think that the maker has done a really nice job of um, creating the sense of place in terms of, you know, where the subject is, what's going on. Um, I guess the only thing I would add to, you know, maybe add to this is that uh, in terms of the um, rendering of the image, you know, based on uh, some sort of photograph is I'd like to maybe see a, a little bit more textural detail. Uh, there's kind of parts of his spacesuit that I think are a little bit um, lacking in detail uh, along the shoulders and, and, and upper part of his, his spacesuit. Um, but um, uh, other than that, I think it's a it's very clever um, concept. Excellent, thank you. Okay, next image in the illustrative category, master illustrative category is figure in red. Figure in red. Image scores 81 points. Casey, we're back with you. Yeah, um, I was 84 on this. 
really like this a lot. Uh, I think it, there's a lot of thought in this image and a lot of skill in creating uh, what we see. Uh, the presentation is uh, spot on for uh, the, the entire, the monochrome nature of, of everything in, in the palette, including the uh, presentation just really enhance the image. Uh, I'm very cool with the, uh, what, do you, what do you want to call it? The draping of fabric or whatever it might be over the, over the figure so that the figure is detail uh, detail in the figure is very subdued. It's, it, I, I think that artistically, this is a really interesting image for me. And uh, I wound up liking it quite a bit, hence my 84. I think red was a really strong choice for the color as well. Thank you, Casey. Next image in the illustrative category, enjoying the sunset, enjoying the sunset. Image scores 82 points. Frank, if we could hear from you on this one. My score here was 81. I'm, I'm taken by the overall image. It all seems to just fit together. It works. The, uh, the structure uh, is appropriate to the subject. It, the, the focus uh, on the structure is almost entirely just right out of focus. <clears throat> uh, there's a little mystery in that we can't see the young man's face. The parasol uh, is an is a excellent prop. The one thing that held me from going higher than 81 is the title. I don't see any evidence of sunset here. So I think uh, a more carefully chosen title could send the score up a couple of points. Thank you, Frank. Can I add a comment real quick, Nick? Yeah, by all means. Um, I scored this in 82. I, I love this as well. Um, I'll just add a couple little technical details. It looks to me like there's a couple little um, specular um, uh, irregularities in the image down along the brick wall to behind the subject's back that I would probably remove because they drew my eye immediately. And then just a thought for the maker, this really isn't a criticism, but I would maybe consider doing just a touch of luminosity masking on the back of his robe just to kind of bring out a little bit more um, uh, texture and subtlety of color, nuance of color uh, in the back there, so. Thank you, Stephen, I appreciate that. Next image in the master illustrative category, yin and yang. Yin and yang. Oh, wait, oh, oh. sorry. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Too many buttons. Right. No, yin and yang. Yeah. I'll stop yeah. pressing buttons. Image scores 85 points, and Stephen, this one's yours. Um, I love this. I, I really don't have a lot to add other than I think it's beautifully seen. It's beautifully um, uh, photographed and, and realized um, from an editing perspective. Um, I kind of shoot architectural shapes like this myself, and um, I think it's just a really interesting perspective uh, that the maker has caught here. Uh, and then the gradation of tones, the balance of the color elements within the... the um, 
the the photograph itself are very complementary. Uh, there's interesting details in in parts of the buildings there. Um, you know, I might have just cloned out a little bit of something down at the bottom of the building there that is a little bit of a distraction, but this is a really minor niggle. But um, my advice to the maker would be to print this big, put it on a wall because I think it's gorgeous. So, you know. Thank you. Okay, next image in the uh, Mouse Illustrative category, Reaching for the Stars. Reaching for the Stars. Image scores 81 points. Casey, this one's yours. Yeah, I, I'm 83 on this. Um, I, re I kind of really like this. I'm feeling like maybe I was a little low. The longer I look at it, the more I admire the creativity and artistic uh, merit of the image. Uh, uh, impact wise, uh, it's, I feel it's very strong. Uh, the artistic element of it is is also very, very strong. I, I, I will enjoy the fact that the maker in the digital artistry category uh, provided samples of, of the images that they use to create create the image that, that helps in assessing what they've done. Uh, the, our, our, the artistic uh, steps that the maker brought to for the background to take the real life background and create the, the painterly piece that's back there, I think for me feels really, really powerful. I really like it. Um, I wish there was a little bit, a bit of a presentation to it rather than straight image to black, um, but uh, yeah, I wouldn't downgrade it for that. So I'm a, 83 that I wish was an 85, so. Thank you, Casey. I uh, appreciate the comments. Next image, still in the Master Illustrative category, Shades of Grey, Shades of Grey. Image scores 86 points, and Frank, this one's yours. I'm at 87 on this beauty. What great visual impact. What wonderful shades of gray, of grayscale. Tonality, wonderful. The placement of the subject uh, is well nigh perfect. Presentation suits the image very well without distracting in the least. Um, the image definitely uh, is deserving of the excellence that it got. Thank you, Frank. Um, Nick, you mind if I say a quick thing? By, by all means, go ahead, Casey. Um, everything that Frank said was, is spot on, of course. Uh, I would just like to compliment the maker on that, on the stem. I think that black stem on this image is inspired. I really love it. Uh, everything else are those subtle shades of gray, and then that black stem is right there, and I, I absolutely love that. Uh, well done, maker. Right on, Casey. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay, next image in the Master Illustrative category is Bottles of Dreams. Bottles of Dreams.
Image schools, Eddie, one point. Stephen, if we could hear from you on this one. Yeah, I think this is a very interesting concept. Um, I like the ingenuity and the imagination in this um, uh, and also kind of the range of tones and colors um, represented. I think we've got a nice complementary color palette. I like the angle of the bottles here. It's different, but you know kind of what you're looking at. Um, so overall, I like this image a lot. I think the only thing I might you know suggest to the maker is maybe to strive for a little bit more subtlety of gradation of the color tones in the bottles. Um, I think that that would probably help keep the eye focused on the, the integrity of the picture as a whole, rather than drawing the eye to areas uh, where the whites simply blow out, so. Thank you, Stephen. One quick uh, comment, if I might. Yeah, go ahead, Frank. I'm at 81. Uh, I agree with Stephen's good comments. Uh, I am captivated by those patterns and they don't distract from me at all. My only suggestion to the maker is I would have liked this even better had there only been one bottle of a contrasting color rather than the three and a half wow. that was the. Excellent observation. Thank you very much, Frank. Okay. And then the final image in the master illustrative category, where water flows, where water flows. <clears throat> image scores 78 points and Casey we're back with you yeah I was at a 77 on this um, it's an interesting abstract uh, and I like it at, at that level um, there's not anything in the in the image that's particularly powerful or dynamic or uh lends itself to a merit in a master category. Um, the presentation is a little flat and uh, maybe perhaps uninspired might be a word that could be used. Um, just not, it's just not enough oomph there to, to bump it into a merit in the master category for me. So Casey, I think for me, if I, I, I share your sentiments, I think what it lacks is impact. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. that's exactly right. Okay, gentlemen, thank you. We have only a single image for review in this category, and that no, is this I, image. Nick, Nick, I think oh. there's two. Um, Bruce, could you no, take the, a look? The first one was scored an 82. It had one score of a 78, but it actually scored an 82 overall. I, I, I just read from the, my script. Really? I have a 78, a 77, and a 78. That's that was either. that was in commercial. That was not in right. It was master commercial. Yeah, yeah we're in master. We're in okay, all right. <laughs> um, so, judge, uh, judge, if you would just give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down on this image, please. Uh, sorry, what's what's what are we trying to decide? Uh, decide whether this goes up to a merit or whether it stays as a seventy-eight. The the current image. Yes, yeah. the current image. Yeah, just uh, put stay. a comment. Just put it. Just put a comment okay. in the chat if you would. Sure. Image remains the same. Thank you very much, judges. Okay, uh, sorry for the slight um, confusion on the- uh, I have a brain fart, yes. <laughs> the scoring <laughs> it's a technical here. description, yes. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now moving along, we have the master landscape uh, division, oh, sorry, category. And the first image in the master landscape, uh, master landscape category is jungle waterfall, jungle waterfall. Image scores 80 points. Frank, I believe this one's yours. I'm at 80 on this image. I wanted to go higher, but uh, I'll talk a bit in a bit about what holds me back. Uh, one thing I find captivating about it is the, the uh, bit of cloud in the upper right looks uh, almost as if it could be 
the release of uh, volcanic activity from the mountain <clears throat> doesn't matter whether it is or not. It, it, it does add a nice, interesting touch. Uh, the light falling on the left side of the image, the upper left, is beautiful, beautiful light, but for one thing, it draws my eye away from the waterfall itself. The waterfall is, is almost uh, unimportant here. Uh, the texture and the uh, uh, contrast created by that fall of light is beautiful, but out of place in, in this image. 78. Thank you, Frank. For the next image in the Master Landscape category, Sleepless in Seattle. Sleepless in Seattle. Image scores 82 points. Uh, Stephen, we're back with you. Yeah, I really like this a lot. Actually, um, um, I can relate to this because I've taken kind of city urban scapes uh, like this myself of San Francisco. Uh, and, and so I, I understand the challenges. Uh, I like it very much. I like the the aspect ratio. I think it, it, it demonstrates sweep and scale of the city, of the urban landscape. Uh, and there's a nice uh, set of uh, interesting visual elements that lead the eye through the frame and kind of give you a real sense of Seattle at night. Um, the only comments I might add um, is that there's some specular, there's areas of luminance in some of the buildings, the freeway off to the left as it curves around, uh, atop of the, some of the buildings that could, again, a little luminosity mask, you could just bring those down just a bit so that they don't kind of blow out uh, and retain, you know, whatever texture might be available there. Um, but, and maybe possibly some inverse luminosity masking in the lower corner as well, just to bring up a little texture in, in the, whatever the forest or whatever that landscape is that the freeway is traveling through. But other than that, uh, I like a lot. Um, and and uh, I would have taken this photo as well, probably, so. One quick comment, I'm at 82 and I love the image. Uh, I congratulate the maker on having the guts to not include Seattle's most uh, iconic skyline yeah. feature. Yeah, that, uh, agreed. That takes guts, but it worked. Yeah. Good point. Uh, absolutely, good point, agreed. Thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate the comments. Okay, the final image in the Master Landscape category is Morning After the Storm. Morning After the Storm. You see? There we go. Yep, it's coming. Yeah. Image scores 82 points. Casey, we're back with you. Yeah, um, love the black and white. Uh, I, I like the uh, the cross lit the cross lighting bringing out all the textures and uh, uh, the life in the in the forest uh, in the foreground and in the the uh, outcroppings, the rock outcroppings is really, really nicely done. I like the way that stands out. Um, uh, I wish that the the sky feels a little soft to me. I, I think that um, a little Photoshop might be able to punch that up a little bit and just make it more uh, of a impactful element of the uh, <clears throat> composition. Because right now it it's a it feels a little flat in comparison to the to the rest of the the niceness that's happening within the the uh, landscape areas of the image, so eighty two for me. Can I add a real quick comment, Nick? Yeah, go ahead. Um, so I like this very much as well. I think the maker did a really nice job in this. I'll just maybe add a suggestion. The, the only thing I'm kind of looking at is is the how quickly the 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 
the, the, the tonality falls off on the structure that's kind of prominent on the left there. It kind of goes much more darker, more quickly than the, than the, than the buttes on the right. And, and again, I would just suggest maybe, you know, using some inverse luminosity masking there just to kind of match those tones a little bit more. Um, but other than that, I think it's, it's really nice and nicely seen as well. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay, do we have any images for review in this category? Apparently not. Okay, so the next category is the Master Nature category. And the first image in Master Nature is, I want that fish. I want that fish. <clears throat> image scores 84 points and i've lost track of where i am frank am i with you i think i'm with yes, you yes thank yes. you beautiful image what a what a wonderful capture uh being in the right place at the right time and knowing what to do with it is so important uh what i can see of the fish doesn't look that attractive to me but to an eagle <laughs> certainly and uh, uh th this fight is uh wonderfully captured uh the image is beautifully composed presentation works very well uh what a sense of satisfaction it would be to create an image this uh, outstanding. Thank you, Frank. Next image in the Master Nature category is searching for McBeetle breakfast. Searching for McBeetle breakfast. Image scores 79 points. Um, Casey, this one is, no, that's wrong. Uh, Stephen, this one's yours, sorry, my mistake. Yeah, this is another really nice capture as well. Um, I really like how um, uh, the bird is, is interacting or looking almost directly at the photographer um, and uh, is clearly in full flight. The only kind of thing that distracts me a little bit is the, the left wing, the right wing to our view, but the bird's left wing just loses some texture and detail and and has a, a shape that I think kind of draws my eye away from this beautiful bird and and I find a little bit visually distracting so I'm not sure why um, uh, you know it doesn't look like it match the the right wing the bird's right wing a bit more in terms of both the, the shape and the texture but also the sharpness so yeah thank you Stephen and next image in the master nature category macro and colors Micro and colors. Image scores 78 points. Casey, this one's yours. I was at 77. Uh, I wanted to like this more as I, as I looked at it. I tried to find a way to, to be higher in the score. And uh, I, th I think the thing that bothers me the most is the most forefront uh, pedal 
is so prominent and so out of focus in the image that it pulls focus away from more interesting areas of the image. The, the, uh, the yellow uh, parts of the flower are more visually interesting, but also to my eye anyway, not really 100% sharp. Right. Uh, it doesn't look that way to me anyway. And so I just couldn't get into the merit category. Thank you, Casey. I'll, I'll no. just add, um, yeah, go ahead. I, I support Casey's um, thoughts 100%. I struggled to find anything that was really in focus in this photograph yeah. um, um, to kind of, you know, let me know wh what was the central kind of hero aspect of the composition or, you know, where my eye should go. So thank you, Stephen. Yeah, good point. Okay, and then final image in the Master Nature category, proud to be an American, proud to be an American. <clears throat> image scores 86 points uh steven this one no i've got lost again steven i'm gonna give this one to you okay Sorry. um that's fine uh i i think this is a, a fantastic photograph um uh it, you know I, I really can't fault the maker maybe the other judges want to chime in here in terms of how technically well executed capturing this eagle in full flight is um but i think the maker did a really extraordinary job here these are not easy to shoot they're far away they're moving quickly um you've got all the wings fully you know um uh in full flight everything is sharp um i would say that the only thing that maybe distracts me a little bit is maybe the presentation using the yellow border around the the photograph I think draws my eye out of this beautiful eagle a bit. I might have used a different tone there, um, uh, but but anyway, kudos to the maker for this capture. I think it's it's really fabulous. Yeah, if if I could, Nick. Of course. Yeah, I was at uh, eighty six on this, I believe. Um, really uh, extraordinary for everything that um, Stephen said. Um, the, the crispness and the clarity and the sharpness of the bird is uh, worth noting. It's just so well done, almost to the point that seeing a bird in flight that crisp and sharp, uh, some of those wingtips almost look uh, illustrated a little bit uh, in the sense that you don't normally see that. And I think that that's extraordinary. And I, I love it, uh, especially versus that super soft background uh i think that the pointing out of the, the that yellow key line is uh uh well noted that is a distraction and that you need to tone that down a little bit but really well done thank you gentlemen okay we have two images for review in the uh master nature category the first one is uh, number 24, uh, Searching for McBeetle Breakfast, original score 79. If you can give it a thumbs up or thumbs down. Image remains the same. The next one is image number 25, uh, Macros and Colors, original score 78. Remains the same. Okay, next category is the Master Photographic Artist. This category focuses much more on the post-processing that was done on the image than on the original capture. Obviously, the original capture of the overall impression is still important, but very much focusing on the digital artistry or photographic artistry that is performed. Um, first image, in fact, the sole image in this category is Mark. Mark.
Judges, please score. <clears throat> Image scores 86 points, and Casey, we're back with you. Um, yeah, I was 87 on this. Uh, an exquisite portrait. Um, love everything about the lighting, the tonality, the subdued nature of the color palette. It's just really, really very strong. Uh, the Photoshop work in this, it's flawless and, and um, you can't tell any has been done, uh, to my eye anyway, although it's probably fair to point out it does not appear to be very complex uh, level of Photoshop work um, for a master of digital artistry image, uh, but it is flawless. So, uh, and uh, the image itself is, is uh, extremely strong. Uh, I'm at 87 and, you know, this were in the portrait category, I feel like I might be a little bit higher than that. Uh, so uh, that was, that, uh, that is where I was. Thank you, Mo. Thank you, Casey. Okay, so that was the only image in the Master Photographic Artistry. There is no uh, image for review. Next category is Master Photojournalism. In the photojournalism category, um, makers are allowed to do make only those changes that they will be able to make in the darkroom. So essentially a little bit of contrast, um, dodging and burning, obviously conversion to black and white, but uh, nothing beyond that. There's no editing. The other rule is that it should not be cropped as to materially change the image. Obviously we don't have the ability to assess that. That's really um, on the uh, on the maker, but uh, these are really just a capture of a moment in time. First image in the master photo, master photo journalism category is rock mining rock mining was that title rock cleaning mining rock, rock mining mining rock mining thank you yep Image scores 83 points. Frank, this one's yours. I'm at 82 on this image. Uh, my eye is immediately taken to the subject in silhouette. Very effective framing. Uh, very interesting use of, of the extremely high contrast in lighting. Uh, it works very well. The brightness in the upper left-hand corner is a little bit distracting, but in the photojournalism category, that's uh, as it was, no doubt. So I take no points off for that. Uh, the, the little interesting touches of green around the image add visual interest to me without being distracting. Uh, overall, 85. Thank you, Frank. Okay, next image in the master photo, master photo journalism category is kite power, kite power. Image scores 78 points. Stephen, this one's yours. Yeah, you know, I, I've actually done some of this type of photography, so I know the challenges that it can be here. Um, I think on the whole, the maker's done a nice job to capture peak action of, of um, this kite border um, uh, doing a jump here. I would say the only thing that brings it down for me is the fact that you've got two subjects kind of um, 
out of focus the background that are pretty much right in line with your eye is with respect to looking at this subject. And it just kind of draws you out uh, and I think away from um, uh, this kite border here uh, in terms of what he's doing. So um, uh, there's also something kind of out of focus along the shore. I don't know what that is, um, but uh, it's kind of, they're just a little bit, some visual distractions, I think for me that, that bring this down a bit. Thank you, Stephen. Next image in the Master Photojournalism category, engrossed in music, engrossed in music. Image scores 79 points. Casey, we're back with you. I was at 78 on this. Uh, a nice capture. I, I like the photojournalistic aspect of telling the story of the the band and the music and, the, and singing and CD sales. I, I like that. It's not uh, particularly dynamic or compelling in, in its storytelling. Uh, and so... Uh, I couldn't get higher than 78. Thank you, Casey. Uh, final image in the Master Journalism category, pedal power traffic jam, pedal power traffic jam. <clears throat> image scores 81 points uh, frank this one's yours i'm at 82 on this image uh i did not at first see the uh the traffic piled up behind uh the left hand or the, the our right lane at first and i didn't because there's so much interesting going on on the left side of the image and I'm torn about suggesting to the maker simply cropping out most of that left side. Uh, it still works, but uh, the, the real story is what's going on behind that big lorry. And uh, it's a, a powerful story indeed. Thank you, Frank, and thank you for calling it a lorry. I was just going to say. <laughs> I want to know how he knew her name was Lori. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, you Americans. <laughs> okay, we have two images for review in the first, uh, Master Photojournalism category. The first one is Kite Power, original score 78. Remains the same. And the next image is Engrossed in Music, original score 79. Image remains the same. Okay, now we get on to the Master Portrait category. It's assumed in the portrait category that the maker has complete control over everything. And so they have, they can, they have complete control over the uh, choice of subject, uh, dress, lighting, and so on. Uh, no holes barred. First image in the most reported category is pondering life's questions. Pondering life's questions. Image scores 89 points. Uh, Stephen, this one's yours. Uh, I think it's just absolutely gorgeous and 
I scored this a 90. I think it's fully deserving of a 90. Um, I hope it comes up for reconsideration because I think it deserves a superior um, uh, ranking. I don't really have anything to add other than I think it's beautifully seen, um, lit, um, uh, composed, um, edited. Um, it's just, it's, it's, it's exceptional in my opinion. So, I you know what? I'll challenge. I'll challenge. Nick, I'll challenge. Who was first? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Third base. <laughs> Frank, how about, how about you go? All right. Uh, I'm challenging my own score of 86. The more I look at it, the more I realize that uh, uh, that's an inappropriate score. The lighting, the posing, the emotion in the image, uh, certainly deserving of a 90, and I'm going to lift my score to 90. Thank you, sir. Um. Uh, I was at 90 and um, loved uh, ditto for everything that's already been said. So I think we can move on to the score probably. All right, judges, please rescore. So I was just on mute. We actually didn't hear from uh, Frank and Stephen, but. Uh... Yeah, we heard from Frank. No rebuttal needed. Okay, rebuttal. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I meant St Stephen and then rebuttal. From okay. Time. But anyway, image scores 90 points. So good challenge. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay. Actually, I thought it was Stephen. I thought you were challenging it and just using different language. That's why I. No, that no, no. I, I thought I, I, he threw the gauntlet down. Yeah. Yeah. I did. <laughs> okay. I, I, I kind of did. Yeah. I think yeah. it's, 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 well, one, it's really wonderful. Well thrown, um, Gauntlet. Okay. Yeah. Next image in the master portrait category Seeking Redemption. Seeking Redemption. Okay, image scores 84 points, and I've managed to get myself messed up again, so I'm going to give this one to Stephen. Uh, I, have, I, have the, I have the last one. So yeah, okay, so I'll give it to Casey. Yeah, Casey. There yeah. you go, Casey. Sorry, got lost in right. that. Yeah, no, no worries. Um, happens to the best of us. Uh, I was at 83 on this. Uh, I love the storytelling aspect of it. Uh, very interesting image, a lot of impact. And um, for me... Uh, I felt like the light on the subject's face was a little flat and maybe a touch hot mm -hmm. uh, to be uh, a really high scoring. And also oddly, and maybe it's just, maybe this is just me, I don't know. The, he feels like he's floating a little bit from the background rather than, rather than just being a natural part of a photographic scene. Uh, so, I, I don't know if the background was dropped in or something, but it, it feels a little floaty to me. That said, I'm 83, so uh, I clearly like it a lot. Uh, there's just two; those are just two little things that bothered me and kept me from going higher. Thank you, Casey. I'd like to add one comment. Uh, yeah, go ahead, Frank. Uh, I'm, I, I really like the texture in the clothing, except that the strongest texture is in the leg. And uh, that's a bit distracting. That could be toned down. But the, the biggest reason I, I gave it an 84 is the emotion does not look to me to be coming from the subject, but from the photographer uh, directing the subject. Thank you, Frank. Interesting comments. Good. Well, well done. And final image in the master portrait category, the barrister, the barrister.
Image scores 87 points. Frank, this one's yours. I'm at 88 on this, and I really am taken by the uh, emotion that I'm reading on the subject's face. The lighting, exquisite, brings out the character that's there. Uh, the wig, I, I assume that's a wig. Uh, I'm a little bit taken aback by that because it looks more like a, a, a scarf than an actual wig, but maybe that's the style these days. Uh, the title works very well with the image, as does the presentation. Uh, certainly well deserving of an 88. Thank you, Frank. Uh, Go ahead. Nick, if I could add a comment. Yeah, sure. uh, I was at uh, 87 and uh, loved everything about uh, what Frank said uh, on the image. He's, he's spot on. The, the texture on the face, in particular, from the cross lighting is really extraordinary. I love that part. For me, the thing that kept me from going higher was the the mantle that the white mantle that's going around the shoulders and just nothing underneath it but dark uh i, I felt like i wanted a little hint of just a just a hint the subtlest hint of shoulders and chest uh, a, a little bit of a demarcation from where those things started the white thing sort of floating above the darkness there was a, a slight negative for me so i couldn't go higher than 87. That's that's exactly why I scored it an A7 as well, Case. Your comments yep. were 100% in concordance with mine. Yep. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay. Uh, do we have any images for review in this category? No, I do not believe. Okay. No images for review. So we move on to the Master Wedding category. And these are images that have been shot on the day of a wedding. Um, so it's important that, as I say, they, there's no recreation of them afterwards. It's on the day of the wedding. First image, in fact, the sole image in the category is, may your first child be a masculine child. May your first child be a masculine child. Who scored 78 points, Stephen? Um, yeah, I scored this a 78. I, um, you know, I, I'm going to give the maker props for going film noir on this because I'm a huge fan of film noir. Um, uh, and, 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 you know, giving it a, a sincere attempt here. I, I guess for me, uh, I struggle with what is the story that's being told here. I wouldn't have known that this had anything to do with it from a wedding from the photograph itself um i'm struggling to understand who are the central characters in this in this kind of film noir like story um and so my eyes kind of bouncing around trying to figure out what is the story here there's a character kind of above the car where is he's kind of looking over the top roof of the car and i'm wondering what what is he doing there so i think it's a laudable effort but i would think more about how to fully realize the story that the maker's trying to tell here yeah, exactly um, Thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate the comments. And that uh, ends this division. There are no comments. Uh, images for. Yeah, there's uh, a, this, oh, yeah. Is the, this image is for review. Oh, that's what I was saying. Yeah, okay. This yeah, image yeah. Is for review. So <laughs> give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. I misunderstood the comments in the chat. There. That's all right. The same one here? Yeah. The yeah. same one, yeah. So yeah. thumbs up or thumbs down. Image remains the same. same. Okay. Now that concludes the master division. We now switch to the regular division uh, where the images will be judged at a normal affiliate level. Um, and we'll have the same, uh, or maybe a subset of the same set of categories. Uh, so I'm not gonna go through a description of categories unless it's a category we have yet to see. So the um, first uh, image, sorry, the first category is commercial and the first image, in fact, the sole image in the um, commercial category is Simpson Desert Challenge. Simpson Desert Challenge. Didn't get the first word, Nick. Simpson. Simpson. Like Desert. Bart Simpson. Simpson does it challenge. Okay. Hmm. Back to.
Image scores 81 points. Casey, you get to kick off this division. I was at 80 on this. Um, certainly an interesting image, impactful, uh, tells a good story. Uh, I think that there's a commercial aspect to this image uh, easily. Uh, uh, for me, uh, a merit, but but maybe not much higher than that. I, I absolutely, I do enjoy the silhouette aspect against that sky. I think that that's uh, nicely done by the maker. Thank you, Casey. Okay, uh, no images for review in this category. The next category is the illustrative category. First image in the illustrative category is pensive. Pensive. Image scores 80 points. Frank, this one's yours. I'm at 82 on this uh, rather fascinating portrait. I'm, <clears throat> I'm asking myself why it would be in the illustrative rather than the portrait category, but uh, that doesn't take away from the fact that it's a delightful study of this young person. Uh, the effect of, well, perhaps it's film grain. I'd love to be able to see this blown up. Uh, it's, it works. I, I don't know that I would have chosen it myself, but uh, uh, it, it works for me. The composition is good. Presentation, uh, I think the stroke might be just a tad bit too bold. Uh, could be toned down a little bit. But uh, overall, 82. Thank you, Frank. Next image in the illustrative category, my inner light in the morning. My inner light in the morning. <clears throat> image scores 80 points Stephen, this one's yours yeah i think this is really a nice macro uh photograph here and i i like the way that the primary um subject in the photograph the stamens and pistils of the flower are lit uh it shows the texture really nicely um there's a couple little uh, distract, visual distractions for me. Um, there's areas of pretty bright luminance along the outer leaves um, of this flower or plant uh, that kind of pull my eye away from the beautiful stamens and the color tones there. And again, I, um, luminosity masking here is your friend. Um, it, this would be fairly easy and straightforward to kind of correct with, um, you know, L3, L4 in, in, um, in Greg Benz's uh, luminosity masking plugin. Um, the other thing is I'd probably have racked out just a little bit so as to not cut off the edge on the left side there of, of the red leaf and just show its shape a little bit. But other than that, I love the quality of the light um, in the central part of the flower. Thank you, Stephen. Okay, next image in the illustrative category is my inner no, that's right. So not ready for the boneyard, not ready for the boneyard. Sorry, um, I mistyped. Um, okay, can I restore? Go ahead. Just can I restore? Your score. Yeah. yeah, if you would. Sorry. Yeah, that was a typo. I apologize. Everybody, everybody, rescore. Yeah, please. Yes.
Casey, did, oh, I guess you got I, it before Bruce did. did the rescore. Yeah, you did. I got it. We got it. And it scores. I'm yeah, dragging scored. this. It scores <laughs> an 84. Image scores uh, an 84 points. Casey, this one's yours to talk about. Uh, I was right at 84. Uh, really like this image. Uh, the storytelling is fantastic, especially for a, a lover of, of planes uh, of that era. Um, the, the tower is great, a nice uh, compositional offset. Uh, I really like that. The, uh, the um, softness and the, the smokiness or, or windblown aspect of the area around the fuselage for me is really strong. I, I, I just love how that contributes to the overall feel and mood of the image is great. Uh, I might have uh, vignette of the sky somewhat to darken that one really bright area right in the middle of the top uh, and make it uh, more congruous with the, the left and the right side just to let the eye stay captured in the image. Uh, might have been a little stronger uh, for me anyway, uh, but uh, and, uh, 84 and uh, absolutely really, really like this image. Thank One you. real quick comment, if I Yeah, might. go ahead, Frank. Uh, my heart went pity pat when this first came up because I thought it was uh, uh, Beechcraft that I, just like I used to teach aerial photography and it's not, it's, uh, it appears to be a, a Lockheed Electra, which was uh, Amelia Earhart's airplane. Beautifully done. Casey's comments are right on. hundred percent agree. Yeah. The, uh, you know, and I was just thinking, um, the only thing that could make this wonderful image even better. And of course the maker doesn't have any control over this would be to have the wheel chocks removed and the, the propellers spinning. But, um, <laughs> again, uh, again, that's, the, that's not a complaint at all. I, I, I love the photograph and I, again, I love the noir feel of this as well. So. Yeah. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay. Next image in the last project category. We are three. We are three. Image scores 80 points. Frank, let's hear from you. I'm at 80. It's a very workmanlike representation of these three uh, blooms, but it, it does not have, uh, for me, a great deal of visual impact. Uh, so it's, while it's a, a carefully crafted image, I don't believe it rises above 80. Thank you, Frank. Next image in the illustrative category, Warm tones, warm tones. Image scores, Eddie points, Stephen, this one's yours. Yeah, this is very nicely seen. I think it's a nicely done macro. Um, I like the, the color palette. I think the color palette is harmonious here. Um, for me, I guess where, you know, what promoted me from scoring this a bit higher is I'm not really sure where the central hook is. What, what is really the subject here? Um, you've got these beautiful shapes on the right and then the central structure to this flower in the middle there that's in a different color tone. Um, but I'm, I'm struggling to kind of understand kind of where should my eye go? Where does the maker want me to key in on? Um, and then a very minor niggle, I, I guess I probably would have used a somewhat different um, presentation here uh, rather than kind of the, the dark um, purplish brown uh, color, I think yeah. um, is a bit distracting for me. You know, I think black works really well uh, or very, very dark gray um, as a neutral a kind of background for something that's colorful. Thank you, Stephen. Next image in the illustrative category, fade to blue, fade to blue.
Image scores, 82 points. Casey, this one is yours. Yeah, I was at 83 on this. Uh, I find this to be a compelling little abstract of, of what I'm assuming is smoke or a smoke-like substance. I uh, love the, the color harmony uh, working here. Uh, compositionally, it's interesting. There's, a, there's impact. I, I like the way the, the top components of the, of the structure curl back in on itself. I think that that, for me, was maybe the kicker that, loud, that got my score up there. I just think that's a lot of compelling little sharp little twists and turns of, of smoke. And I, I, I like that. And I like that all of that that's happening there. And the, the lines that go up through the structure just all work towards that little peak right there and it, and it curls back on itself. And I, I like that, uh, just impact wise and, and, uh, you know, the feel of the, uh, I've, the word slipped my mind, but the, uh, uh, I, I just found myself really drawn to it. So, uh, 84 from or 83 for me. I just like to add a comment. Um, Go ahead. I listen to a lot of classical music and, and all the things that, that um, Casey said about it, um, I agree. And that top where the smoke curls around reminds me of the top of like a, um, a, a classical bass or, or cello uh, in terms of how the woodwork is done. Um, uh, yeah. the, way, the way that they carve the wood for the tuners. Uh, yeah. the tuners exactly. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. It really kind of brings that to mind. So I really like this a lot as well. It's, it's great. Thank you, gentlemen. Um, the final image in the illustrative category, just as cap. Jester's cap. Image scores 81 points. Frank, this one is yours. I'm at uh, 82. And uh, the first thing that grabs my attention is the title. Uh, so well suited to the, the shapes uh, ending in the droplets on, on the very top of the, the structure. Uh, these uh, water, or in this case, milk uh, drop photographs are, are fascinating. Uh, this one is particularly well done. Uh, having done a few of these, I, I know how difficult they are and how seldom we get a striking result. This is certainly a striking result. Congratulations uh, to the maker. Thank you, Frank. Next category is the landscape category. And the first image in the landscape category is morning light. Morning light. Frank back, Nick? Uh, yeah, he was talking just a moment. Oh, he just seems to have disappeared. He was there just a moment ago. Uh, Frank, did we lose you? No, I don't think so. Oh, um, yeah, do we have a score from you? Yes, I scored. Uh, I think you may have sent the score only to one person, not to everyone. Oh. Send to everyone. I don't see the third score. Mm -mm. There, it oh, is. there it is. <laughs> and the image scores 82 points. And Frank, I'm going to give this one to you just because. I scored this 82. Uh, my first reaction to the image was uh, more in the, the range of 
80. But the more I looked at it, the more interesting things I saw going on that contribute to the image as a whole, uh, starting with the, the rocks in the foreground, uh, going to the, the uh, bird droppings on the rocks in the middle ground, the light on the lighthouse itself is, is flat, which I think is one of the reasons I was disposed to an 80 early on. But the image comes together well, and it's, it's all complemented quite nicely by the sky. Uh, the presentation works just fine at 82. Thank you, Frank. Next image, in, in fact, the final image in the landscape category is French scaffolding. French scaffolding. Image scores 86 points. Stephen, this one is yours. Yeah, this this is a really a lovely photograph. I've actually seen this before. Um, and I think uh, the maker did really an exceptional job here, um, both with respect to, you know, directing the visual uh, attention of our eye um, to um, the Eiffel Tower here. Um, it's, it's really beautifully symmetrical, uh, the balance of tones. Uh, relative to uh, the structure and detail within the Eiffel Tower. It's a very unusual angle. Um, and there's really interesting things to kind of delight the eye as you move through the frame here. Um, uh, and um, I, I just really like it. I, I liked it when I saw it originally when it was submitted elsewhere. And I think it holds up really well. Um, I don't know if it's the structure itself. That, you know, if I were to snap a guide into it, if it's absolutely perfectly vertically in line, it, it could be, uh, but also this is an older structure and it may not be perfectly, absolutely perfectly straight anymore either. But regardless of that, that's a really minor niggle and I love the photograph a lot. So well done, very well done. I'd like to quickly add that uh, yes. all of Stephen's comments are, are right on and I love it for all of those reasons. I love it even more because this is a very difficult subject to bring fresh vision too and that's what the maker has done here 100 percent agree thank you gentlemen that concludes the uh landscape division and there are no images for review next division is the nature category i beg your pardon and the first image in the nature category is a butterfly point of view a butterfly point of view Image scores 81 points, and Casey, this one's yours. Yes, uh, I was at 80 on this. Uh, love the crispness and sharpness uh, in the, the butterfly and the, the thing that the butterfly is sitting on, uh, the structure. Uh, for me, it felt like the story is right there and that there's a lot of things happening along the bottom of the image in particular that are more distraction than helpful to uh, to the prime primary suspect. I also maybe could use stand to use lose a little bit on the left as well. I don't know if you'd want to go so far as to crop right into or completely remove the the secondary um, uh, bloom that the the butterfly is sitting on. But I I feel like that story is is uh, getting a little bit lost in, in all of the things that are going on far away from where the butterfly is. So I, I feel like a, a tighter crop would be a, a better score for me, 80. 
Thank you, Casey. Next image in the nature category is Skipper's Sippy Cup. Skipper's Sippy Cup. Image scores 80 points. Frank, this one's yours. I scored this one 81. <clears throat> I assume that that is a skipper butterfly. Beautifully uh, uh, recorded. There's lots of detail in the butterfly itself, and I think this image could benefit from a tighter crop. I'm not at all sure that the plant structure on the left is needed at all. Uh, I suggest to the maker that uh, cropping in tight on the single blossom and the butterfly feeding on that blossom could uh, make the image even better. Congratulations on recording a, a difficult subject quite well. Thank you, Frank. Uh, next image in the nature category is Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Image scores 85 points. Um, Stephen, this one's yours. I think this is great. Um, you know, it, it, <laughs> I, I, I think what I like about this spider is you could tell he's a bit of a character. Um, so it, to the extent that a spider has a personality, I don't know, but it, you know, certainly it reads this way in this photograph, right? Um, that he's interacting with the photographer in some way. Sorry, I've got a cat that's interacting with me here. Um, but uh, I, I love it. I love the color palette, the textures. Um, the lighting is really nice. Uh, the only niggle, I don't know if those speculars are just losing a hint of tonality in his eyes there. I don't know if that could be managed or not, but but overall it's very well done. Um, I know how hard these are to shoot and light properly. Um, so I congratulate the maker um, on the effort and, and the final result. It's really, really nice. Thank you. Next um, image. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Um, yeah. I Everything that Stephen says is, is uh, spot on. Um, for me, I just wondered. If I was and I was eighty-five as well. Uh, I wonder if perhaps a bit of vignetting or reducing down some of the bright areas behind the spider might have helped a little bit and, and let me get that score higher. Uh, I think everything in the face, from the face on down, is perfect. Love it. Love it all. But the the blurry behind the face is some of that is a little bit distracting. So maybe a slight reduction in brightness there. And I think my score is uh, significantly higher. I, I would agree. That, that's great. Thank you, Casey. Yeah, that's great input from Casey. Okay, next image in the nature category, stink eye. Stink eye. Come on. Image scores 83 points, and Casey, this one's yours. Uh, I'm at 84 on this. I, I actually really enjoy this image. I, I like how 
uh, the bird and the branch and the background all play in the in the same color family. I really love the color harmonies in that. It work, works really well for me. Uh, the brightness of the, the breast and undercarriage of the bird, uh, but not too bright. And it plays with the, the darkness of the face and the eyes. It's sharp where, where it needs to be sharp. I love all that. Don't like the presentation that much. I uh, wish that was just a nice thin little complimentary stroke rather than what it is. But I, I certainly didn't uh, subtract points for that. Uh, I'm at 84. So uh, strong image. Really liked it. Thanks, sir. Okay, next image in the nature category is Lemu Emu. Lemu Emu. <laughs> Image score 77 points. Frank, this one's yours. I am at 77 on this, and I really wanted to uh, to love it more. Uh, the bird is beautifully presented. Unfortunately, everything else distracts from the image uh, mightily. Had this been entered in photojournalism, I would have been tempted to go a little higher. But in this category, uh, all those distracting details need to be dealt with. Uh, whether they could be cropped out in camera or whether they can be uh, edited out is, is immaterial. They really distract uh, horribly from this beautiful character study of a, a character. Thank you, Frank. Next image in the nature category, dark worlds, dark worlds. Uh, image scores, our machine went 81. Image scores, 81 points. And Stephen, this one's yours. I think this is another really nice capture. Um, I, I uh, We have a friend over uh, at Twit Pro that does these all the time. So I'm getting a really good sense of how hard these are to kind of pull off from a photographic perspective. Um, uh, I, I really like the subject here uh, in, in the document documenting of, of, you know, what this I presume is a bee of some sort is doing. Um, I, I, I could have scored this higher. I think if some of the background elements were, were a little bit less distracting, I think the border uh, I find a bit distracting. There's some elements that kind of look like they're out of focus over on the right side of the frame that I really, you know, kind of not really sure what those are. I think it could cropped in a little bit tighter. It just presented a nice clean classic kind of presentation, uh, maybe a little bit tighter on the left as well. Um, and it just really focus in a bit more on the B. Um, and then, you know, the things like the border, uh, these kind of slightly out of focus, soft and furry elements, um, fuzzy, I guess, um, on, on the other parts of the frame would keep me more focused on, on this, this guy who's working really hard here to put food on the table. So. Yeah, that's exactly right. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, next image, still in the nature, nature category is stretch. Stretch. Image scores, 83 points. Casey, we're back with you. 
Yeah, I was at 82 on this. Uh, really like this image. Uh, I love the diagonal composition and the, the way that the that is perfectly named, that it actually feels like that guy's doing a little stretching right there. It, it has that feel to it. Uh, the, the hints of blue coming through the, the wider parts of the sky hint at that sky that's back there that we all know is back there, but uh, uh, graphically very interesting, uh, great composition. Uh, so easy merit for me. Thank you, sir. And the final image in the nature category is the standoff. The standoff. Image scores 80 points, and Frank, this one's yours. Mm. I'm at 85 on this one. Uh, it's a great example of how titles are so important. The title adds quite a lot to this image to me, a couple of points anyway. Uh, on the other side of the coin, I, I would like to see the crop a little bit tighter, uh, including the break, the breaking wave at the top is important, but there's a lot of area above it that's less important. And by cropping in a bit more tightly, we would see even more the majesty of these two uh, animals uh, in their standoff. Uh, 85. Thank you, Frank. Okay, and um, we have no images for review. Um, the next category is photographic artist. And uh, the first image in the first photographic artist is Fearsome Fred. Fearsome Fred. Image scores 82 points. Stephen, this one is yours. Yeah, <clears throat> I think the maker's done a really nice job in capturing a portrait of this um, really cute dog here. Um, overall, I think it's nicely lit with respect to the subject. Um, that area above his nose is just a little hot. I probably just bring that down a little bit to show a little bit more detail, but that doesn't really concern me too much. An area that I'm a little bit distracted and why I did score this a little bit higher. Um, was uh, the area where his feet are touching the bottom surface there. Um, in, the, in the photograph below, you can kind of see that it's resting on something that kind of looks like what it would normally be resting on. But here I'm getting having trouble separating kind of the surface he's resting on from his paws. Um, and I think that that uh, just some, I think, better, sharper retouching and a bit more delineation of the texture or the surface he's sitting on here would kind of help just to ground this this subject in terms of, um, you know, what he's sitting on. He looks like he's a little bit floating to me, I guess, at least his front paws do. So that's the part that um, I find a little bit distracting. But overall, it's a really cute dog, so. Thank you, sir. And the next image in the um, photographic artist category is kaleidoscope, kaleidoscope. Image scores 84 points. Casey, we're back with you. Yeah, well, I was at uh, right at 83. Uh, 
<laughs> certainly interesting. And I love the, the color uh, in this, uh, really striking and, and it stands out. Um, as, as my eye goes back into the image, it, it, it gets a little overwhelmingly busy uh, for me. So I, I didn't feel I could go higher than 83. Uh, but I certainly think that the maker did a really interesting job here. I love the, the subtle presentation is really nice, very complimentary and uh, overall uh, an easy merit. Thank you, sir. Next uh, image in the photographic artist is Alien Avians. Alien Avians. Image scores 87 points. Frank, you got this one. I'm at 87. Uh, this is what a, a wonderful combination of imagination, whimsy, and overall creativity. Uh, putting these elements together, who would have thunk it? It's, it's just a striking example of what uh, a really talented artist can do uh, with ingredients that seem to have little in, in common with each other. Uh, congratulations to the maker. This it, it certainly richly deserves 87. Yeah. Thank you, Frank. Uh, the next image, in fact, the final image in the photographic artistry category is Spiral of Caius. Spiral of Caius or Callus. Or even spiral of colors. Yeah, that's color lilies. Image scores 85 points, and this one is yours, Stephen. Yeah, I really like this a lot. I love um, the color palette. Um, uh, it's nice that the maker showed the original kind of subject, and then just the treatment, I think, is very, very original and creative, um, kind of showing the Nautilus shape here. Uh, and, you know, there's just so much, I think, to interest the eye here. Uh, and the way that it's executed, right, you're creating kind of new shapes out of this very basic, you know, um, recognizable shape that just, you know, the, the outer structures look like feathers, the inner part looks like a Nautilus shell. Um, and there's just a lot here, I think, to hold the interest of the viewer. Um, and again, I think this would really be a lovely piece of art um, printed large and put on the wall. I think it's, it's really cool. Thank you, Stephen. And uh, that concludes the uh, photographic artist category. We have no images for review. The next category is the photojournalism category. Uh, the first image in the photo gun. Uh, I can never say that word. The first category. Start again. First image in the photojournalism category is Scylla Sky Crane at work. Scylla Sky Crane at work. Image scores 80 points. Casey, we're back with you. Um, it's 79 on this. I, I wanted to 
wanted to like this, but the longer I looked at it um, and played the title in my mind, it, it, yes, it says Sky Crane at Work, uh, but photojournalistically, the, the work isn't visible to, to me. It, 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 could, it could just be me. Um, so that, that it felt a little like a not not a complete story for that reason for me in the and so in the photojournalism category I so I was just hesitant to go full lady on this it didn't feel like it told the story in a way that I found to be compelling uh, it it is a competent picture of of the sky crane but I, I felt like a little bit of story was absent for me so seven only seventy nine. Yeah, I want to take Casey's comments. That is exactly why I didn't score it higher. Um, and I think Casey was maybe having a little bit of cognitive dissonance in terms of like, it's at work, but doing what? Um, and for me, that's, I think, the key part of the story here that's missing It's is what story is it really telling in terms of the work that it's doing? The context of, the context of work is missing for me here. Yeah. I'd like to also add, uh, uh, yes, all the comments uh, are, are right on. There are two things this aircraft does that are storytelling and, and, and amazing. One is sucking up water. The other is spitting out water. Yeah. It's not doing either one here. It's a, it's a well-crafted image, but the, the real story is missing. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, next image in the photojournalism category, life-saving water drop, life-saving water drop. Uh -huh. Okay, now, now we're cooking with gas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Final score is 84. 84. Okay, image scores 84 points. And Frank, this one is yours. Okay, I was at 83. Three. Yeah. Uh, it's almost as if this was waiting in the queue and listening and laughing to my prior comments. Uh, yes, it, one of the things this thing does that's uh, exciting is it spits out a lot of water and it's well illustrated here. Uh, one could say that getting in tighter on the helicopter would enhance that, but to do so, we'd, we'd risk losing the fire on the left and that adds so much to the storytelling going on here. Uh, this one is... Uh, very well done. Congratulations to the maker. Thank you, Frank. And the final image in the photo um, photojournalism category is drops in for the win. Drops in for the win. Oh, sorry, Weston. Weston Webb drops in for the win. My mistake. Yeah, that's her name. Weston Webb drops in yeah. for the win. Image scores 83 points, and Stephen, this one is yours. Yeah, I think this is another really nice um, uh, uh, example of photo Jerusalem capturing peak action. Um, certainly the photographer understands the sport well enough to kind of know when the decisive moment is. Um, and overall, I think this is very well done. I think it could be a little bit stronger. She's pretty much dead center in the frame. And I think if maybe it was cropped or, or framed in, in camera in such a way that she was a little bit positioned more towards the third on the left of the frame so that it would give a sense of her moving through the frame from the left to the right would help to add to some, some um, kinetic uh, energy and dynamics to the photograph. Thank you, Stephen. Uh, do we have any images for review in this category? Uh, no images for review. Well, that was easy. Okay, someone's trying to make a comment, I think. 
Nope. Okay. Moving on, the next category is the portrait category. And the first image in the portrait category is Forgotten Bride. Forgotten Bride. Image scores 86 points. Casey, we're back with you. Uh, yeah, I was at 87. Uh, what a wonderful image. I really like this. Uh, traumatic in, in all aspects, almost. The, the light on the, on the bride, the, the title, the, the uh, architecture behind her, the water below, all of it feels like a, a compelling, interesting story that I wish I knew more about. Uh, Technically, really well done. Uh, sharp where it needs to be sharp. It falls off a little bit as it gets back into the image. I really like that. Um, my maybe my I don't know. That's it could just be me, but my least favorite part of it of an eighty-seven is that I feel like uh, the the center, uh, her being in the dead center of the image, maybe feels a little. Uh, less than dynamic. I don't know. It's 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 uh, it's an interesting choice, and and uh, I, I wonder how, what this would feel if if a little bit of the water was cropped off so that she wasn't quite in the dead center, and maybe a little bit closer. But but yeah, it's an eighty-seven, so hard to go wrong with that. Amazing job by the by the maker. Thank you, Casey. Uh, it's always fun to hear judges struggling to come up with the, yeah. <laughs> the comments. Okay, next image in the portrait category is Alone with Her Memories. Alone with Her Memories. Stephen, did you come in? Did you yeah, guys send it to one person instead of all? We got him. Yeah. Okay, there yeah. we go. Yeah, I, I thought I typed it in there and it didn't show up. Okay, so. 87 yeah, points. Emma scores 87 points. Frank, this one is with you. I'm at 88, and wow, what a storytelling, beautiful image. Uh, she's, she's reaching out to the photographs, and in reliving those photographs, she's, she's grasping herself. She's bringing them the memories closer to herself. Uh, the lighting on her face is angelic, just stunning. The background is, is busy, but not in a way that it distracts because she is so powerful in the image. Uh, congratulations to the maker. This is a wonderful piece of work. Thank you, Frank. And the next image in the portrait category is Mina Infrared. Mina Infrared. Image scores 84 points. Stephen, this one is yours. Yeah, I really like this a lot. Um, I think that the makers use the infrared really nicely here to kind of give the, the subject kind of a ethereal quality. Um, I think the, the engagement with the subject and the photographer uh, is, is um, 
is really is really nice and and, and touching. Uh, uh, the only little technical niggles is I might just bring the luminosity of the hair on the on the right side of her face our left down just a little bit to create a little bit more delineation of texture there but not so much that so as to distract from her face but overall um i think it's very very nicely done thank you sir next image in the portrait category is dirty joe dirty joe <clears throat> Image scores 85 points. Casey, this one is yours. What was the score? Um, Image scored 85 points. Okay, great. Uh, I, I was at 87 on this. Uh, I think that the maker has uh, done a fantastic job. I really love this. Uh, particularly, I, I kind of feel a little drawn to, to portraits. I'm using air quotes that uh, don't show a lot of the, the person. I kind of think that's a, a bold choice, uh, an artistic and creative choice that, that photographers make. And, and I really like that. Uh, they've done that here very successfully. Uh, I feel like this is revealing of the character of this person without showing much of the person at all, almost. Uh, it feels really strong, uh, creative, dynamic, powerful. The lighting is spectacular or exquisite almost. Uh, the, the harmony with the background is is really well done uh, for me an easy 87. Thank you, sir. And the final image of the portrait division, and in fact, the final image of the competition is elegant. Elegant. Image scores 83 points. Frank, you get to close out the evening. My score here was 82 or 83. Let me double check that. 82, Frank. 82. Uh, several elements of this image are strikingly well done. The lighting is beautiful. The uh, choice of background works very well. There is an interesting contrast between her skin tones and the background, uh, which could perhaps have suggested a different color uh, color tone in the background, but it still works. Uh, where I did not go into the excellent category was her only connection to the, the hat or veil that she's wearing is with her fingertip. Right. Uh, her expression seems totally disconnected from that to me. And that's what brought my score down to 82. I agree, Frank. I think that's an excellent insight. Talking to the mute button. Well, thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> there, that, that, that concludes the uh, judging portion of the competition. Uh, there are no images for review in this category. Uh, category. Uh, Bruce, you're giving me something back here. What am I seeing here? Not sure what I'm saying there, but anyway, so the next step is I'm going to hand control over to Kim uh, so that she can then uh, do any tiebreakers and then we'll go through the best of show for the two different categories, uh, two different divisions, the master division and the regular division. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen and Kim gets to control. I, I got a question, guys. Do we have a, Bruce, do we have a tie there or something? What's, what's that all yes, about? Yes, we have one tie. Okay, we do have a tie, Nick. 
Okay, thank you. Yeah, one I still come into social We're gonna we're gonna break that one first. Yeah. Before we Slide right. number twenty and twenty one, Nick. I, I have them. Okay, you got them, Kim. Thanks. Yeah. No, at this point, Kim's gonna share and she drives. Okay. Okay, can you guys see the two images? Yes. yes. Okay, there are two images. These tide and master landscape. We have sleepless in Seattle and morning after the storm. It's up to you judges to pick which one you would like to pick as best of class for master landscape. Do you want us to write it in the comments? Nope, you can nope, discuss it. Discuss oh, okay. It yeah. yeah. Amongst each other. You get to discuss uh, this while everybody watches and listens. <laughs> no pressure. I'd like to lead off with uh, uh, a vote in favor of Sleepless in Seattle. Absolutely. It's uh, It's been a long time since I've seen a Seattle skyline that didn't feature the Space Needle. Right. And as much as I love the Space Needle, I find this very refreshing and gutsy. Uh, congratulations to the maker. Uh, I'm I'm voting in favor of the Seattle skyline. Yeah, Agreed. I think that's a stronger image. Yeah, I absolutely agree, 100%. There you go, Kim. So that will be the winner. Give me just a moment. I'm going to stop sharing the screen for just a minute. So I think this is the point at which I'm supposed to play gentle, um, you no, know, elevator music, isn't it? Jeopardy, Jeopardy music. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't do that. We'd have a copyright violation, but uh, some sort of generic ele um, elevator music might be appropriate. Beethoven's Emperor Concerto, Piano Concerto Number no. Five in E Minor. Anyway, we so. could do that, but that's probably a little <laughs> intense. I mean, it's a great piece of music. Don't get me wrong, but I'm just being silly. That's all. That's right. I'm going to ask Stephen if you have a favorite classical composer, since you mentioned classical music. Uh, Beethoven's right up there uh, for me. Vivaldi, um, uh, Mozart is a was a genius, of course. Um, but uh, Prokofiev, I love for modern music. Um, uh, um, Haydn, Handel. A Bach, um, not really big on Mahler, so. No? No. Oh, Mahler's Fifth is, tr is truly an epic, epic work. I love that work. It's With the not... exception of your stumble into modern music, I, I agree <laughs> with all your choices. <laughs> okay, if you guys are ready, yep, I'm going ready. to be showing the master division first. There are seven best of category images that you will see then discuss which ones to eliminate until we are left with the last one standing will be the best of show for the master division. Okay. So, so Kim, um, we're losing the right-hand side of your screen uh, yeah. a little bit. Thank you. So are we uh, just run that by me again? We're supposed to pick our favorite of yeah, the master division. But between the three of you, you need to come up with a, with a uh, favorite for the master division to decide who won that competition. And as they came, we're losing the right hand uh, side. That so better? Yeah, so that's, there you go. go. That's yeah. perfect. Yeah, perfect. Can we drop the watch? Yes. <laughs> yes. I can should watch the, it. Yeah, I should watch this also so we can drop that. Can I we drop the skyline? Mm. Yes. Yeah. Uh, how about the jour journalism uh, image? photojournalism the yep. mining the yes. mining yeah the mining yes you all good with that yes yep can we drop the uh lower left yes i believe so yeah i think so i, I I'm, I'm clear on which is my favorite for tonight so yeah, I think I'm also clear, although I, I might like to winnow it down to two. Can we drop the eagle? Yes. Yep. yep. Okay, so those are the best two. Uh, I'm going to lean towards the portrait. Yep, absolutely. I, I can concur with that. I think the image on the left is wonderful, but I think yes. that the the level of, of work and execution and vision and, you know, just um, this one, I think, is just class of the field for tonight um, yeah agreed well said so that the winner is uh. 
but that of course is when my um, fan makes everything blow away. Yeah. This one is uh, Jerry Stevenson. Congratulations, Jerry. Mm -hmm. Nice. Well done. Yeah, beautifully done. Really beautifully done. Really good, Jerry. And very quickly, let me bring these back up just up real quick so we can announce these winners. So we have the master commercial. The winning image in that is Spitfire Pilot, which was Nick Seth Smith. Congratulations, Nick. Nick. In the master illustrative, we have Shades of Gray, which is the flower over here. That was Amanda Ramirez Cardenas. Um, congratulations, Very Amanda. Nice. Well done, Very nice. Wonderful image. Well done. The yes. Next image going to the right is Sleepless in Seattle by Kip Cothran. Congratulations, Kip. <laughs> sorry, that was a tie in win. Um, <laughs> sorry, Bruce. Um, the next one is Nature is Proud to be an American, Kip Cothran yep. of the Eagle. Oh, yep. nice. Oh, okay. nice. Nice. The one nice on the job. bottom center is the portrait or the photographic artist, and that is entitled Mark by Jerry Stevenson. Congratulations, Steven Jerry. Yep. And then the master photographic or photo journalist journalism is Rock Mining by Peter Levshin. Congratulations, Peter. Well done, Peter. Well done, Peter. Nice, yes. Peter. And, and Peter, nice. congratulations for being there because I know that wasn't easy to get to. So, okay, now we will be going to the regular category. So while Kim's pulling those up, um, uh, so Frank Prokofiev is too modern for you. Yes. Okay. What yes, about sir. people like Debussy and Ravel, some of the French? Uh, my favorite French composer is uh, uh, the leaves. Francois Couperin. Okay. Oh, Couperin. Yeah. Couperin. Yeah. Yeah. I can. His mysterious Enjoy. barricades especially turns me on. Right. Just so you guys yeah. know, I, I'm, I write for the Absolute Sound uh, High End Audio Magazine. I've got a thirty-nine thousand dollar Lin Audio DAC. So oh, I just oh, nice. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. What's the rest of your set? I like that magazine. Yeah, you you can find my some of my reviews in it. Oh, cool. Um Yeah, I'm. I've got a Conrad Johnson Art 150 amp in for review. That's serving as my power amp. Nice. And then a, a something called a First Sound preamp, um, which you probably haven't heard of. Anyway, I'm getting off topic here. So. <laughs> okay. Conrad it's Johnson's great stuff. Too, yeah, I, I haven't. I have a a of audio who's who still is a classical music buff there are very yeah. few of those left oh yes. yeah I I, right. I I i i listened only to classical music all the way through high school so um uh you have a pretty good vocabulary in that in that genre i, I was with you and played it as well but uh, anyway we have some images to to, to judge here yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah the floor yeah, is yeah. yours kim go for it and these are the best of category winners for the regular division um, let's do this one slightly different so I don't have to bring them back up. Um, starting in the upper left, we have the best of category in the commercial division, which is the Simpson Desert I think Challenge was the end of that, by Craig Stampley. Congratulations, Craig. Well done, Craig. The, nice, Craig. Uh, next one is the airplane that is not ready for the boneyard by Christine McElhaney. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Congratulations. Christine. The yeah. next one. Yes. Aren't we doing a best of show for the we're going to do the. We uh, are. I'm just the announcing the best of category first. first, and then we'll pick yeah, the best yeah, of show. Yeah, yeah. The thing so is, I don't have to this bring them back the up. Names, giving the names is a little bit prejudicial. Oh, I see what he said. Oh, yeah. Now we know who those makers are. Yeah. Oh, well. Okay. well, well forget who, forget uh, what you just heard. And well, <laughs> well, let's just continue. The cat's out of the bag. So let's just keep going. I'm glad I had my sound turned off. <laughs> I think I feel something a, coming on, Frank. <laughs> I think I think we can be objective here. And I agree. Yeah. I, I okay. Well, we'll finish it this way on this one. We won't do that next time. Yeah. Um, the third one is French Scaffolding by Craig Stanfleet. Congratulations, Craig. Right, Craig. Nice, Craig. Nature well Spider Man from Stan Fry. Congratulations, Stan. Nice job, Stan. The next one is Photographic Artist, the Alien Avians. Congratulations to Annette Gregory. JW2. Oh, <laughs> Photojournalism is life saving. That's water you. 
Congratulations again. Good job, Kim. That's I cute. love that shot. And then the portrait is Alone with Her Memories, and that is also by Christine McElhaney. Well done, Christine. Very nice. Beautiful. Congratulations, Very everyone. Good. Now you guys, not knowing, because I know you have short <laughs> memories, forgot who made any of these. Um, you need to eliminate, so we're down to your favorite image. Do I turn my sound back on now? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think we could drop the commercial, or I'd be fine with dropping the commercial in the upper left. Yeah. Mm. Um, got two, three for that? Yes, yeah. yeah, so you got two. Okay. Um, I think that we could drop the spider, if you guys are fine with that. Yeah, I would agree. I'm I'm not ready to drop it yet, but two out of three is decisive. The uh, Lockheed now we're down Electra, to tough, tough strokes now. Lockheed Electra in the upper left-hand corner. As much as I like the image, yeah, it's not my favorite of this group. I yeah. agree. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Boy, I hate to see it go though. Yeah. Yes. Gotta fly. Not going away. It's temporarily <laughs> going away. <laughs> uh, I would unfortunately have to uh, suggest that the uh, photojournalism image. No, I disagree. No, I think, okay. No, That's I, good. I, I, That's so, fine. So, I mean, I, I'm, I'm gonna kind of hang on to that one. I think um, the maker being there and 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 capturing this and showing you know, the story, I think for me, is okay. pretty, re pretty resonant, especially given that, you know, we all live in California, we know yeah, kind of what this is all about. So, um, I mean, I, agree with dropping the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, I, I would, I would go that direction then. Yeah, I guess reluctantly, I would say so. Yeah, all of them are reluctant <laughs> at this point. Yeah, yes. You know, yes. Uh, oh, man. I'm uh, of these three, they're all very powerful images. Uh, any one of them could take best of show in, in many competitions. But yeah. uh, I, I think of the three, uh, the uh, helicopter drop is the one to, to drop at this point. Yeah, I think that the two outside images are the strongest for me. So, Okay, I, I'm, I'm going to disagree, but I'm going to defer to the to the numbers here. So. Um. Boy, that's yeah. But again, that's hard to hard to let yeah. any of them go. Really, it is. I guess <clears> of, of, of the, the big bucks. Yeah, of the two here, I would say the portrait of the woman on the right is more powerful for me. Uh, powerful is exactly the right word, Stephen. Yeah. I, I agree. Yeah. Yep. yeah, agreed. And, and and you know the story is just really really compelling. It yeah. is. Yeah. So the lady, the portrait one, is your favorite. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yep. Congratulations. Alone with her memories, Christina McElhaney. Thank you. Well done, Christine. Congratulations. Very nice. <laughs> so at that point, uh, that brings us, it looks like the dog also agreed. Uh, congratulations to everybody. It's really nice to see some new, uh, some fresh blood coming into the competition and some unbelievably strong images. So well done to everybody. I want to thank our three judges, uh, Stephen Scharf, Frank Peel, and Casey Newman, and also thank the team behind the scenes. Um, you can hear uh, Kim's and Stan's voice, but there's another couple of people also behind there, Bruce and Annette, uh, busy um, sort of clicking away to make sure that we have multiple people tracking the scores. So it takes a lot to put this on. Really appreciate everybody's help. And once again, congratulations to all of the makers, all of the winners, and well done everyone for taking part. So this is the fourth of five image competitions. There's still one more coming up in November. Um, so um, it's going to be a nail-biting finish, and I strongly urge you to join us back then, if not before. Once again, this is Nick Seth Smith, Images by... And, uh, <laughs> wrong, yeah, Images wrong, by Nick. Wrong, right, wrong yeah. meeting there. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Seth Smith, uh, for, for IEPB, hey, thank no, you very much for attending. Yes. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you all in sometime soon. Thanks, guys. Have a wonderful All right, morning. we'll see you.